Cowboy Jim up here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. And uh, I, uh, I think I've recovered from that last video. Oh, way too much emotion. And uh, um, I do that emotion thing um, when I'm wore out, dog tired. And uh, when God touches my heart, actually. And uh, meeting that couple at Wandering River. Um, the video that's previous video um, tore me apart. I I proceeded south, and uh, I ended up. Um, I talked to God constantly. I ended up. Uh, I, I suppose that's why I, I find it so easy to be alone, because I'm not alone. I uh, either a little crazy or uh, uh, a little enlightened. I, I kind of vote for the enlightened part. <laughs> Anyways, um, I occasion to uh, be led of God uh, while I was down there, I think on the Saturday, and uh, I, I I was kind of bored, and, and I had about five hours to fill, and so I thought, well, I would just go and uh, go to Bass Pro uh, uh, Iron Mills in uh, Airdrie, but I got kind of turned around on the stupid ring road, and uh, I come out about um, on the west side of Calgary, and I thought, shoot, it's uh, been a long time since I first saw the mountains, and uh, so I, I headed to Banff, and I did as I did the first time that I saw the Rocky Mountains, uh, I pulled over uh, in a uh, uh, a look see type place and and uh, park my old Dodge and so on and a um, bunch of people from uh, India uh, uh, were there and uh, one guy was kind of staring at me which that that happens trust me um, and I asked him I said sir have you uh, occasion to uh, uh, watch my YouTube channel? He said, no. Well, his English uh, was a lot better than my whatever language they speak in India. Uh, I suppose it's called Indian. But anyways, uh, we, we had a pleasant time. And uh, he asked if... Uh, uh, they could take my picture standing beside my old Dodge, and uh, I thought that was all right. And anyways, um, I I headed further into Banff and uh, stopped at a campground and uh, and uh, walked down to the river, uh, Bow River, and uh, got a large. Uh, uh, cup of of water and uh gently poured it over my head and uh cooled myself down and i i've done that many times uh in the mountains on horseback and i i i revel in the reality of a creator uh who has about eight or nine names uh jehovah uh, Jehovah Jireh, a, a bunch of names that are beyond my uh, capability of understanding. I, I am a created being trying to encourage people to consider what if there is a creator 
whose son suffered, bled, and died on the cross for your sins, mine. And that's what I do. Anyways, uh, I, I, I drove into Banff and, uh, um, at the gate, uh, the, the guy said, uh, entry to Banff. He said, you don't happen to be, uh, 65, are you? And I, I, I said, well, I'm 73. He said, well, then it's cheaper. And, uh, anyways, I don't, I don't ever, uh, want a discounted price on anything. I, through God's kindness, I, I work for a living and I, I, I find great joy in the, and, um, anyways, when I was done, uh, in Banff, uh, I stopped at Canmore and I stopped at the three sisters, uh, there are mountain peaks and, uh, I headed, uh, back to Calgary and I wondered if I had enough guts to do it. And that's for me, uh, always a challenge. Um, and then I compete with myself, uh, no one else. And uh, I pulled into the laneway that uh, is where my ranch was. Uh, I sat in my truck. I contemplated life. And I remembered so much of what went on there. I wished, I wished that I had known the people well enough, but I didn't know them at all. And I commend them for what they have done with the entry to the ranch. I wished that I could have gone on and stood at my horse's grave site. I wished, but I couldn't. But I remembered well the day when my ex-wife called me and said, you're going to have to bury your horse. And she had booked an appointment for a vet to come and kill it. And they did, and she did. And I forgave that crazy woman. Um. Uh, but I'll never forget ever anyways. Sorry about that. Um, so I sat there and I remembered I, I had built all three buildings. The house was 2,500 square foot on each of two floors. And uh, I built everything. A, and uh, life goes <clears throat> on, and it does. That's a good thing. And I proceeded. Uh, I can't even speak the rest. But God, I know, uh, loves me. God forgave me for so much more. Um, and I know that, that that woman who killed my horse, um, God, God will uh, offer her uh, the opportunity of seeking forgiveness for killing a blessed horse. It's 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 an amazing thing. Um, when I sit down to make a video, I uh, I never know what direction God's going to take me. And uh, a, a, a driver, a fellow driver at work, um, he he is uh, he he won't watch my YouTube channel. Uh, because he says you just wander too much. Well, I guess that's that's the truth. I just do. But anyways, I uh, I, I I went that night 
to watch my grandson, Cole Martin, uh, play and sing at the Ranchman's in Calgary. And I so honor God for the gift, the talent that he has given my grandson, Cole Martin, in uh, his ability uh, to write, play, sing. And I, I was so honored to have the privilege and the honor of watching my grandson. And, and uh, I, I, I came back to uh, Fort Mac exhausted, wore out. And um, tomorrow morning, I uh, go back to work, thank God. And uh, I'll probably end up running a haul truck. I hope it's a bigger one. Um, but but that's the joy and the privilege and the honor that God has given to me. I, I look back on my life and uh, I regret uh, the things that I have not done, uh, accomplished. But I look at my life uh, not as though it's finished but as though it's really just getting started. Um, I mentioned that I'm 73. Well, I'll be 74 in October, but I am uh, young in my heart, my soul, my spirit. Um, and it is only God that has allowed me the privilege of this life, of of living, oh, falling in love, um, madly in love, uh, unrequited, but it's there, and I, 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 I make these videos because I want you to have the opportunity of learning of God that has been my stay, uh, my strength in my life. And I have gone through some stuff, uh, stupid stuff, but God has seen me through. And in the last video, I, I, I stated, um, you're going to live until you die, and only you uh, are in authority over your life. And while you're yet breathing, there is hope. You must do with that hope what you will. Accept it, reject it, walk in it, whatever. It's up to you. Um and I'm going to sum this up quite quickly here. And I'm just going to say, God bless you. God keep you. May your heart be uh, malleable, moldable. And may you live the days that you have remaining. Um, may you live them as I do to the max to the full. And so, God bless you. God keep you. Amen and amen.